Hello, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday's video. This is also for Princeton and Fayetteville. If you are not in Princeton or Fayetteville, please find your video, okay? This is only for Princeton and Fayetteville, all right? Princeton, Fayetteville, you ready? Let's go. 72, that's the lesson we're on today. Now, we're going to make up an analogy that tells what animals say. What is the analogy going to tell? Get ready. What animals say? That is correct. Here are the animals we're going to use in the analogy. A cat and a frog. What animals? Get ready. Very good, a cat and a frog. Name the first animal. Get ready. A cat, very good. Tell me what that animal says. Get ready. Meow. Very good. So here's the first part of the analogy. Listen, a cat is too meowing. To the first part of our analogy. Get ready. Yes, a cat is to meowing. Very good. Now name the second animal. Get ready. Mm-hmm, a frog. Very good. Tell me what that animal says. Get ready. Mm-hmm, ribbit. Here's the second part of the analogy. Listen, a frog is to ribbiting. What's the second part of the analogy? Get ready. Mm-hmm, a frog is to ribbiting. Very good. So, get ready to say the whole analogy with me. First, tell what a cat says. Then, tell what a frog says, okay? Say the analogy. Get ready. Okay, very good. A cat is to meowing as a frog is to ribbiting. A cat is to meowing as a frog is to ribbiting all by yourself. Let me hear you again. Say the analogy that tells what a cat says and what a frog says. Get ready. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Now, we're gonna play a word game. And parents, if, if your student is struggling with any part of this, again, please feel free to uh, rewind and go over that part again with them so that they're firm on that, all right? And again, our, our office hours, the language uh, team is Mondays and Wednesdays at one o'clock, one to two. That is our office hours, language is Monday and Wednesday, one to two, okay? All right, exercise two, you ready? We're gonna play a word game. Everyone think of a class that is the opposite of noisy. A class that is the opposite of noisy is, get ready, quiet, you got it, very good. Everyone think of a playground that is the opposite of dangerous. Think of a playground that's the opposite of dangerous. Get ready. Safe, exactly. You are brilliant. Very good. Safe. Everyone, think of a floor that is the opposite of shiny. Think of a floor that is the opposite of shiny. Get ready. Dull, very good, dull. Everyone think of a truck that is doing the opposite of pulling. A truck that is doing the opposite of pulling is, get ready, pushing, very good. Everyone think of a shelf that is the opposite of narrow. A shelf that is the opposite of narrow is, get ready, Wide, that's right, very good. You made it through two exercises already. Let's blow through the rest, right? Let's go. We're gonna talk about today, tomorrow, and what? One week from today, 
I heard you say it. I know you said it just like that because we're always excited about that part. Great. Tell me the day of the week it is today. Get ready. Mm -hmm. It should be Wednesday. Let's find Wednesday. Boop, boop, boop. It should be Wednesday when you're viewing this. Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Tell me the day of the week. It is or it will be tomorrow. What day of the week will it be tomorrow? Get ready. Thursday. Very good. Thursday. This is today. This is tomorrow. Very good. Thursday. Tell me the day of the week. It will be one week from today. Tell me the day of the week. It will be one week from today. Let me show you. This is today. Remember, you just go down one. One week from today. What date or what day? I'm sorry. What day will it be? Get ready. Monday, the same day as today. I mean, I'm sorry, we are on Wednesday. Woo! Wednesday, let's do that. Wednesday, go down one. What is today? What will the date, the day be one week from today? Yes, Wednesday, very good. All right, now the dates. Now let's do the dates. Tell me today's date. Get ready. Mm -hmm. Today's date should be, if you're viewing this on the right day, it should be Wednesday, April 8th, 2020. Okay? Now, look at the calendar. Mm -hmm. You see it? Look at the calendar. Tell me the date. It will be one week from today. Tell me the date it will be one week from today. Oop. Oop. Get ready. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. That will be the date one week from today. Great job. All right, once more, tell me today's date. Good job, very good. Tell me tomorrow's date. You ready? Mm-hmm, very good. Tell me the date, it will be one week from today. Get ready. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. I'm going to tell you about an object you know, but I'm going to call it a funny name. See if you can figure out what object I'm thinking about, okay? A MANC is a vehicle. Say that. Get ready. Mm-hmm, very good. A manc holds a lot of people. Say that. Get ready. Mm-hmm. You can ride a manc to school. Say that. Get ready. Mm-hmm. Everyone say all the things you know about a manc. Get ready. Mm-hmm, very good. A manc is a vehicle. A manc holds a lot of people. You can ride a manc to school. Everyone, what kind of vehicle am I calling a manc? Get ready. A bus, very good. I could not fool you, it is a bus, very good. How do you know a manc is a bus? Hmm, how'd you know? I'm listening. 
great job because a bus is a vehicle and a bus holds a lot of people and you can ride a bus to school, right? So it has to be a bus. Very good. How would you like to ride a Mac to the zoo? Get ready. Yes, of course. Why not? All right, I'm gonna say two statements. One statement tells more about what happened. Here's the first statement. The bees chased a bear. Everyone say that statement. Get ready. Very good, the bees chased the bear. Here's the second statement. The bees chased the bear in the woods. Everyone say that statement. Get ready. Very good. Listen to the statements again. The bees chased a bear. The bees chased a bear in the woods. Everyone say the statement that tells more. Get ready. Mm hmm. I hope you said the bees chased the bear in the woods right that's what we said okay very good now that statement tells more than the other statement does it tell where why or when the bees chased a bear get ready oh okay i hope we said where it tells where the bees the bees chased a bear right listen to that statement again the bees chased a bear in the woods. Where did the bees chase a bear? Get ready. In the woods, very good. I'm gonna say two more statements. One statement tells more about what happened. Here's the first statement. The spider made a web to catch flies. A, the spider made a web to catch flies. Everyone say that statement. Get ready. Very good. Here's the second statement. The spider made a web. Everyone say that statement. Get ready. Exactly. The spider made a web. Listen to those statements again. The spider made a web to catch flies. The spider made a web. Everyone say the statement that tells more. Get ready. Exactly, the spider made a web to catch flies. That statement tells more than the other statement. Does it tell where, why, or when the spider made a web. Get ready. Why, right? It tells us why. Very good, listen to that statement again. The spider made a web to catch flies. Why did the spider make a web? Get ready. To catch flies, very good. All right, everyone, I'm going to call on individual children. We're gonna act like I did, okay? To name things we can do with a suitcase. I want you to tell your parents something that you can do with a suitcase, okay? So what is one thing that we can do with the suitcase? Aha, uh -huh. very good. I heard those answers, very good. What's another thing we can do with the suitcase? Mm-hmm, exactly, very good. So, what is the first thing that we can do with the suitcase? Get ready. Mm-hmm, now the second thing you said, what was the second thing you said that we could do with the suitcase? Get ready exactly all right what's another thing we can do with the suitcase 
Okay, very good. Keep that in mind. Let's all name those things we can do with the suitcase. What was the first thing that you said you could do with the suitcase? Let's name it. Get ready. Mm-hmm. What's the second thing you named that we could do with the suitcase? Get ready. Mm-hmm. And what was that last thing that you said we could do with the suitcase? Get ready. Exactly. Great job. Now I'm going to call on individual children again <laughs> to name things we cannot do with the suitcase. I need you to tell your parents something that you cannot do with the suitcase, okay? Tell them. I need you to go ahead and tell them that first thing. Mm-hmm. Very good. What's another thing we cannot do with the suitcase? Go ahead and tell them that second thing. Get ready. Mm-hmm. Very good. Now, let's think about this. Let's think about this. Now I need you to go ahead and name that first thing that you cannot do with the suitcase. That first thing you told your parents that you cannot do with the suitcase. I need you to go ahead and name that. Go ahead, get ready. Exactly. The second thing, go ahead and tell them again. Get ready. Yes, very good. Now, I need you to think of one more thing, just one more thing that we cannot do with the suitcase. One thing we cannot do with the suitcase. Get ready. All right, I hope you told your parents. Now let's name all three of those things that we cannot do with the suitcase. What was the first thing you said? Tell your parents, get ready. Mm-hmm. Number two, what was that second thing you told them? Get ready. Very good. And what was that last thing that you told your parents we cannot do with the suitcase? Get ready. Very good. All right. We have made it through yet another lesson. Woo, woo. Now, I need you to go ahead and get your packets out. We got to do our worksheet, right? Let's get to it. Now, go ahead and write your name at the top of the page. These are pictures of characters from some stories that you have heard. Each picture has a letter under it. The letter is the initial of the character in the picture. Touch the first picture. Who is in that picture? Get ready. A bragging rat. You're right. What letter is under that picture? Get ready. B. B is the first letter in the words bragging rat, right? Very good. Who is in the next picture? Get ready. Sweetie. Very good. What letter is under sweetie? Get ready. S. Excuse me. S is the first letter in sweetie's name. Very good. Who is in the next picture? Get ready. Roxy, right? Roxy. What letter is under Roxy? Get ready. R, right? R is the first letter in Roxy's name. Who is in the last picture? Get ready. Molly Mixup, right? What letter is under Molly Mixup? Get ready. M, you are absolutely right. M is the first letter in Molly's name. Here's the game we'll play. I'll say five different things. For each thing I'll say, you're gonna write the letter for the character who would say that, okay? You're not gonna say anything out loud. You'll just find the right picture and write the letter for that character. Everyone touch number one. Listen and don't say anything. Here's the statement for number one. Look at those wonderful orange rocks. I'd love to take them home. Find the character who would say that. Write the letter for that character on line one. 
everyone which character would love to take some orange rocks home you ready roxy right roxy huh huh very good roxy so what letter did you write for number one you ready r right it only makes sense r very good here's what you should have for number one r very good raise your hand and let your parent know that you got that right very good um touch number two are you ready you should be touch number two listen and don't say anything here's the statement for number two from here that fish looks pretty small and helpless but let me tell you that fish can really bite right find the character who would say that Think about it. Mm -hmm. Write the letter for that character on line two. Everyone, which character would say that? Would say from here, that fish looks pretty small and helpless. But let me tell you, that fish can really bite. Who would say that? Get ready. Sweetie, very good. So what letter did you write for number two? You ready? S, right? S for sweetie. Here's what you should have for number two, S. So everyone touch number three. Listen and don't say anything. Here's the statement for number three. One of these days, I'm going to invent something that is perfect. Think about it. Find the character who would say that. Write the letter for that character on line three. Everyone, which character would want to invent something that is perfect? You ready? Molly mix up, right? Very good. So what letter did you write for number three? Get ready. M, very good. You should have M for number three. Touch number four. Listen and don't say anything. Here's the statement for number four. I could get out of that maze so fast that I would be out of that maze before you even knew I went into the maze. I'm gonna say that statement again. I could get out of the maze so fast that I would be out of that maze before you even knew I went into the maze. Find the character who would say that. Write the letter for that character on line four. All right. Very good. Everyone, which character would tell lies like that? Get ready. The bragging rats, of course. Very good. So what letter did you write for number four? Get ready. B, very good. You should have B for number four. All right, number five, number five. Listen and don't say anything. Here's the statement for number five. I don't know why I can't keep them in my room. They are beautiful. Here's the statement again. I don't know why I can't keep them in my room. They are beautiful. Find the character who would say that. Write the letter for that character on line Five. All right, everyone, which character would want to keep some beautiful things in a room? Get ready. Roxy. Very good, Roxy. So what letter did you write for number five? Get ready. R, right? Very good. What beautiful things do you think Roxy was talking about? Get ready. Rocks, rocks, Roxy, rocks and Roxy, right? They go together. Very good. So you should have R, S, M, B, R. 
for one, two, three, four, and five, right? So I hope you got everything right. Let your parents see and let them check it for you. Make sure that you got everything right. You really know about these characters. I know you do. Maybe sometime later you can tell me what they say. All right, we're gonna go to the next page. So flip to the back, flip to the back. These box pictures show two classes. One class has one kind of thing in it. The other class has more kinds of things in it. Touch the picture that shows only one kind of thing. What kind of thing is that in the picture? Get ready. Rakes. Very good. Touch the picture that shows more than one kind of thing. Everyone, what's the name of that class? Get ready. Exactly. Tools. Very good. Everyone, circle the picture that shows more kinds of things. Circle the picture that shows more kinds of things. Touch the picture that shows one kind of thing. The rakes in that picture should be green with black handles. <clears throat> what colors? Get ready. Mm -hmm. Green with black handles, very good. Mark a rake in that picture. Touch the picture that shows more kinds of things. The rakes in that picture should be black with red handles. What colors? Get ready. Mm -hmm. Black with red handles, you got it. Mark a rake in that picture. All right, we're on the second half, you ready? The second half, the second half, all right. Here's the coloring rule for the picture. If an object is made of concrete, color it blue or orange. What's the rule? Get ready. Very good. If an object is made of concrete, color it blue or orange. Very good. Mark the objects made of concrete. Here's another coloring rule for this picture. If an object is made of wood, color it red. What's the rule? You ready? Very good. If an object is made of wood, color it red. Make a red mark on one of the objects made of wood. Here's one more thing to do. Part of the chair is missing. What part is missing? Get ready. The back. Oh my goodness. Yes, the back. Before you color the chair, follow the dots and make the back. And you, my friends, have finished another lesson in your distance learning program. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Woo! Virtual high five. Yes. High fives for everybody. Very good. I will see you next week.